is correct. All right. Welcome, citizen. You have been assigned to a being called the Batter. The Batter has an important mission. Be sure that it is accomplished. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. <laughs> To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. Hmm. 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 I hear water. Oh, it's a cat. There cannot be any other living being in Lone Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the Judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusory interlocutor. I am the Batter. I've been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? His name is Citizen. He can't talk to us. However, he can hear and see everything. Even though you too are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear citizen. I believe we are in need of your services. Many people in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of services could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Wow. That was a cat. A luck ticket. I assume this also contains some treasure. I cannot reach it at this time. Did he go in this door, or... Is that him? I see. Mysterious numbers and letters. I will go this way. Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I have been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loo. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously I was misled. However, there exists other zones and in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Combat tutorial? This here is the battle screen, as you can observe. 
you will find yourself placed at the right hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You will have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in a classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of the coward. I dehort this alternative. But now, it is time for the offense. Choose attack. Select the batter, then choose attack. A new to off, me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function, the computer will not hold back, and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Attack. I suppose I choose the batter. Competence? There's none. Objects. A luck ticket. Recovers a moderate amount of HP. Attack. Cat. Excellent, dear sportive companion. You must consider the fact that the batters and the enemy's level determine the impact of your assaults. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slyness. On occasion, your cast iron will get you a critical hit which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. But let us move on. If you are willing to, you may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right-hand side of the screen. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads Soul Strike against the likewise Soul Adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. Finally, you have yet again the opportunity to flee. But remember, solely the batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take the select ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. A luck ticket has been found. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my friend. But there is one thing we have yet not addressed. I am of course talking about competences. They are generally in layman's terms special moves They can trigger surprising effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points or may be in and of themselves powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competences lead to consumption of competence points. So I ask that you see these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try it right away. Choose competence and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. I've used the luck ticket. The judge, an odd appearing cryptic cat. No weaknesses, no resistance. <laughs> you now know not only all about me but also about the art of combat. About the wide angle. Know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked out for a long time. 
the confrontation ends theoretically when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, suppose your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat. Be it as it may, your training has not yet reached its end. Let me ask you to follow me, if you still want me as your guide. Well, that was a fast cat. All the way up the ladder. Whoop. Ah yes, to pass through here you will need to use your cerebral organ, you know? The one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall in some way or another. suggest you wage activating certain ones of these strange blocks more than one time if required. So come, solve this intriguing puzzle for me. And quickly, if you please, I wish to rejoin the ground floor as soon as possible. thing it'd probably take me longer if I Aha finally after all that exertion an eagerly awaited recompense makes its entrance to the scene. 